Have you ever heard the notion that forgiveness is a sign of weakness? This widespread belief couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, forgiveness embodies an immense strength that can transform lives in profound ways. Today we delve into a deeply debated mystery, what exactly did Jesus write on the ground, and how can this seemingly simple act revolutionize your life? By exploring this narrative, we will uncover how to harness the power of true justice and compassion in our everyday interactions. This revelation not only sheds light on a pivotal biblical event, but also offers a pathway to personal and spiritual growth. In John 8, during the Feast of Tabernacles, the Pharisees and scribes presented Jesus with a woman caught in adultery, testing him to see whether he would uphold the Mosaic law, which mandated stoning, or defy to align with Roman law prohibiting such executions. This situation was a calculated trap designed to discredit Jesus regardless of his response. Faced with this challenge, Jesus bent down and began writing on the ground, seemingly ignoring their demands John 8, 6. His actions, though cryptic, underscored a profound message about the supremacy of forgiveness and the necessity of repentance. By challenging the accusers with the statement, let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. John 8, 7, Jesus highlighted the flaws in their rigid interpretation of the law. As the accusers departed, convicted by their own conscience, Jesus turned to the woman and, with compassion, forgave her, urging her to leave her life of sin, John 8, 10, 11. Through this act, Jesus demonstrated the true essence of the law, which is mercy, and called for a deeper understanding and application of justice and compassion in human interactions. In the story of Jesus and the adulterous woman, the narrative unveils profound themes of sin, judgment, and forgiveness. Jesus' response to the accusers underscores the universal reality that no one is exempt from sin, and therefore, no one holds the moral high ground to condemn another. His words to the woman not only extend mercy and forgiveness, but also serve as a call to transformative change in her life. The act of Jesus writing on the ground, amidst the looming threat of the Pharisees and scribes, suggests a deeper layer of significance. Speculations arise as to what exactly Jesus inscribed, leading many to draw connections to Old Testament scriptures. Throughout his ministry, Jesus continually challenged conventional beliefs and norms, often invoking elements of the Hebrew scriptures to convey his teachings. His actions and teachings, though not always overt declarations of divinity, reflected attributes associated with the divine. The Pharisees, entrenched in their adherence to the law, often failed to grasp the deeper spiritual truths Jesus conveyed. His ability to forgive sins not only showcased mercy, but also asserted a direct claim to divine authority, a notion the religious leaders found blasphemous. Jesus' act of writing on the ground in John 8 serves as a symbolic critique of the limitations of legalistic interpretations of the law. By drawing parallels to events in the Old Testament, particularly Moses' interactions with God regarding the Ten Commandments, Jesus illuminates the need for a deeper understanding of the law one that transcends mere adherence to its letter. Drawing from the book of Jeremiah, where the sins of Judah are described as being engraved deeply, Jesus' act of writing on the ground takes on a poignant significance. Just as Jeremiah prophesied the consequences of forsaking God, Jesus highlights the gravity of sin and the need for genuine repentance. The connection between the two narratives underscores the enduring message that true righteousness stems not from adherence to legalistic interpretations, but from a genuine heart transformation rooted in faith and reliance on God's grace. In the prophetic words of Jeremiah, the contrast between trust in man and trust in God is starkly portrayed. Those who rely on human strength are likened to parched desert plants, struggling for sustenance amidst the barrenness of life. Conversely, those who anchor their faith in God are compared to a flourishing tree, firmly rooted by the waters, symbolizing resilience even in adversity. Central to Jeremiah's message is the indictment of the human heart, portrayed as deceitful and corrupt a theme echoing throughout biblical literature, emphasizing the need for divine discernment. In the encounter between Jesus and the accusers reminiscent of Jeremiah's warnings, the narrative unfolds with profound implications. 
As Jesus challenges the Pharisees and scribes, exposing their hypocrisy, he unveils the depth of their hearts, laying bare their hidden thoughts and intentions. The act of writing in the dust carries symbolic weight, suggesting impermanence and transience, a stark reminder of the consequences of rejecting God. This moment encapsulates Jeremiah's admonition of turning away from the source of life, as Jesus confronts the accusers with their own moral inadequacies, offering redemption to the repentant and exposing the futility of self-righteousness. Jesus' proclamation of himself as the living water further underscores his role as the ultimate source of spiritual nourishment, challenging entrenched legalism and inviting all to embrace divine grace and renewal. Through these intertwined narratives, the essence of Jeremiah's prophecy finds resonance in the teachings and actions of Jesus, illuminating the eternal struggle between human frailty and divine redemption. The debate over what Jesus wrote on the ground during the encounter with the adulterous woman has sparked various interpretations. Some suggest that he may have been listing the sins of the Jewish leaders present, while another theory proposes that Jesus, seeing the woman's vulnerable state, may have bent down to avoid directly looking at her, thus preserving her dignity. However, the focus of the passage ultimately lies not in the content of what Jesus wrote, but rather in the profound message he delivered exposing the hypocrisy of those who judged others. In John 7, 37, 38, Jesus stands boldly during the festival and invites all who are thirsty to come to him and drink, promising that rivers of living water will flow from within them for those who believe in him, emphasizing his role as the source of eternal life and spiritual renewal. This episode underscores the ongoing conflict between Jesus and the religious leaders regarding obedience to the Mosaic law. By bringing the adulterous woman to Jesus, the Pharisees sought to test him, yet Jesus, in his response, reveals their hypocrisy and legalistic flaws. Despite the Pharisees' attempts to entrap him, Jesus navigates the situation with wisdom and exposes their selective adherence to the law, highlighting their failure to truly understand its essence. Additionally, the setting of this event during the Feast of Tabernacles in the Jerusalem Temple adds depth to the narrative as it coincides with the water ceremony symbolizing prayer for rain, where Jesus boldly proclaims himself as the living water, sparking controversy and challenging the religious establishment. Through his unconventional methods of teaching and interpretation of scripture, Jesus consistently challenged the norms of his time, offering a message of spiritual liberation and renewal to all who would listen. The method of employing questions and answers as well as using physical objects or actions to aid teaching, was not uncommon among the rabbis of Jesus' time. This technique, akin to Jesus' act of writing on the ground, served to stimulate deeper thought and understanding among his audience. Jesus' reliance on the Law of Moses, which the Pharisees claimed to uphold rigorously, further emphasized his commitment to traditional teachings while also challenging conventional interpretations. His initial silence when confronted by religious leaders regarding the punishment for the adulterous woman was a deliberate teaching method, drawing attention to the gravity of the situation and setting the stage for his subsequent message. By referencing the authority of scriptures, particularly the laws of Moses, Jesus not only showcased his prowess as a teacher, but also instigated a reevaluation of religious practices and interpretations, encouraging deeper reflection on the true purpose of the law. Jesus' teaching approach, marked by his own authority, diverged from the conventional norms of his time, as he often began statements with, but I tell you through actions like writing on the ground, Jesus adeptly connected to Old Testament teachings, employing a technique known as reams to hint at deeper meanings within religious texts. This approach challenged traditional understandings while promoting a more personal and transformative interpretation of divine law. The encounter with the adulterous woman vividly illustrates Jesus' emphasis on compassion, forgiveness, and the potential for personal transformation. His response to her accusers not only highlights the hypocrisy of selective justice, but also underscores the importance of extending grace and seeking reconciliation over condemnation. This timeless lesson resonates with the broader message of the gospel, emphasizing the need for compassion forgiveness, and reconciliation in our interactions with others, ultimately fostering a culture of restoration and grace in our daily lives.
If you found this video enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it. Additionally, subscribing to this channel will ensure that you receive more updates in the future. Thank you.